on a décidé de, de, de diviser notre, notre contribution en deux parties. La première partie, qui soit plutôt introductive, qui va clarifier le contexte général de la République tchèque, etc. Euh, le nouveau code civil tchèque, ça va, ça, ça va à moi. Et puis, je donne la parole à ma collègue Sarah Farid, qui va identifier quelques problèmes, je crois qu'il y en a trois, problèmes qui maintenant euh, sont le, les plus discutés, les problèmes qui sont actuels, de la individualisation euh, des, des indemnisations du euh, dommage corporel en République tchèque après la recodification du droit privé tchèque. Donc, euh, c'est la première chose que je, voulais, que je voulais faire. Donc, nous sommes venus pour vous dire, comme chantait Serge Gainsbourg à l'époque, quelque chose sur la République, sur la République tchèque. Euh, je commencerai par le, le contexte le plus général. Maintenant, nous, sommes, euh, nous célébrons le euh, dixième anniversaire de notre Code civil tchèque, qui a été adopté en euh, 2012, avec deux, deux ans de législation et qui est entré en vigueur euh, euh, en 2000, euh, 2014. Euh, donc, c'est la première chose qui est la plus importante, parce que, on va toujours, dans notre contribution, on va comparer l'état précédent et l'état actuel. Donc, euh, nous, vous, nous vous importons les informations sur le système qui, auparavant, était plutôt forfaitaire. Le système qui était forfaitaire concernant euh, les, les indemnisations du dommage corporel, donc qui, euh, qui était fondé sur les provisions du Code civil euh, disant, dis, qui disait exactement le quantum, donc exactement la calculation du dommage, des dommages corporels. C'est pour ça que je, que je, que je que appellerai notre système maintenant le système transitoire, le système de transformation, qui se maintenant transforme sur le système qui, est, qui, qui cible euh, plus à individualisation des dommages attribués aux, aux, euh, aux personnes qui sont victimes des, euh, des délits civils. Euh, ce qui est euh, le, la, clause, la clause générale de, qui concerne la compensation, l'indemnisation, c'est, comme indiqué dans le, euh, dans le slide, et concernant le, concernant le, le, le dommage, le dommage euh, euh, non pécuniaire, le dommage euh, euh, moral, euh, oui, nous distinguons toujours, toujours l'indemnisation des dommages patrimoniaux, patrimonial et extra patrimonial. Quant à patrimonial, patrimonial, c'est toujours, toujours réglé dans tous les cas. Nous toujours suivons le principe français, le préjudice est rien que le préjudice. Donc, on essaye toujours de vraiment donner ce qu'il faut. Et pas plus, pas plus, parce que nous ne voulons pas créer l'enrichissement le, sans cause. Et puis, concernant l'indemnisation la, euh, la des dommages moraux, des dommages qui ne sont pas euh, patrimoniaux, euh, c'est plus compliqué parce qu'elles peuvent être indemnisées seulement dans les deux cas. Le premier cas, c'est lorsque c'était expressément stipulé et, euh, par la loi. Et deuxièmement, lorsque c'est stipulé dans le contrat. Donc, entre, entre les parties. Ce qui est quand même un élargissement par rapport aux étapes précédentes, parce qu'auparavant, euh, cette possibilité n'existait pas et a été introduite par le nouveau Code civil tchèque, qui dit maintenant qu'on peut toujours, euh, dans le contrat, stipuler qu'on euh, va, on, on va se payer, on va s'indemniser si, le cas échéant, euh, le, de, le dommage euh, euh, extra-patrimonial euh, euh, arrive. La compensation, l'indemnisation euh, des dommages corporels en euh, état actuel en République tchèque est divisée en trois, trois postes qui sont indemnifiables. Euh, le premier, ce sont les pains, donc euh, le prétium, prétium doloris, les souffrances, les souffrances, les affligences, euh, les souffrances mentales, les souffrances physiques, etc. Puis, il y a aggravation de la position euh, sociale avec tous ces aspects dans tous les domaines, culturels, sportifs, etc. Euh, et puis, y a, on a introduit 
une troisième catégorie qu'on appelle les, les autres, les autres euh, dommages euh, euh, extra-patrimoniaux. Ils peuvent être, par exemple, les, les complications non attendues euh, lorsque on est traité euh, médicalement, etc., les conséquences qui n'étaient pas prévues euh, par, au début. En République tchèque, nous avons euh, plusieurs méthodes de, de euh, analysation. La première, c'est en fait l'approche générale. Et selon cette approche générale, euh, qui nous dicte que l'anonymisation la, doit être satisfaisante, donc euh, c'est un, une satisfaction adéquate, c'est la seule, euh, seule euh, provision. Donc, il y a des cas où seulement euh, l'excuse est suffisante, etc. Et ça s'applique généralement dans tous les cas de, de, de dommages extra -patrimoniales. Concernant le dommage corporel, euh, c'est un peu différent parce que il est, il, est, il est prévu par la loi que c'est seulement euh, 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 condamnation euh, pécuniaire, donc c'est toujours euh, in reluto. Puis il y a le principe de, de, de pleine compensation et on y ajoutait, on y ajoutait un troisième principe euh, qui maintenant pose les problèmes au juge, à la jurisprudence, et c'est le principe de, euh, de décence. Donc euh, maintenant on dit au juge, euh, vous, devez, euh, vous devez attribuer aux, euh, aux personnes qui ont été victimes de, de l'atteinte, vous devez les, les attribuer euh, euh, indemnisation individualisée de telle manière à ce que toutes les souffrances, euh, toutes, les, toutes les autres euh, afflig, 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 étaient, euh, étaient compensées. C'est en fait le principe qui a posé aussi des problèmes aux au juges au début parce qu'ils euh, n'acceptaient pas la, euh, le changement dans la situation euh, parce que législativement euh, la situation précédente était complètement différente de celui que nous, que nous avons maintenant car auparavant nous avions le système de code civil et puis il y, a, il y avait le décret, décret ministériel euh, qui disait exactement sur le, qui, 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 qui fixait les points sur lesquels on peut baser notre, notre action pour les, dommages, pour, les, pour les dommages intérêts, et euh, donc qui fixait, qui fixait les indemnisations de façon forfaitaire. Et euh, ça, le nouveau législateur tchèque voulait complètement supprimer en disant que non, ce n'est pas le pouvoir exécutif qui, dev, qui devrait octroyer le, les, les indemnisations, mais ça devrait être les juges, donc le pouvoir judiciaire, qui devrait euh, dorénavant euh, dicter les, euh, les, 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 euh, les indemnisations. C'est pour ça que euh, dès, le, dès la naissance de notre nouveau code, il y avait une forte initiative des, des juges, des, des praticiens, des académiciens, euh, des médecins aussi, euh, et, et plusieurs d'autres, mais aussi les juges de, 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 de la Cour suprême qui voulaient établir quelque chose, ce qu'on appelle après la méthodique de la, suprême, de, de la Cour suprême, qui, grosso modo, remplaçait le décret ministériel. Donc, on est arrivé quasiment au même état que nous, que nous étions au précédent, et définitivement que notre législateur ne voulait pas. Ce n'était pas le but du législateur tchèque. Mais les juges, la jurisprudence euh, était tellement forte qu'ils ont insisté à ce que la Cour suprême, euh, au moins, élabore quelques méthodiques ce qui, est, ce qui est le cas et dont, dont Sarah va aussi parler. Et les problèmes qui sont liés avec ça, on verra, on verra euh, après. Et, euh, les trois problèmes que nous avons identifiés et que nous considérons cruciaux pour ce colloque, euh, nous voulons partager, partager nos, nos, nos problèmes avec vous maintenant, parce que nous avons l'occasion de, 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 de les partager. Euh, on a choisi... Le premier, euh, la première problématique, c'est la dichotomie entre le droit civil et le droit de travail. Parce qu'en République tchèque, euh, ça dépend si votre dommage corporel dépend de, de, de l'accident de travail ou si ce n'est pas le cas. Parce que si c'est l'accident de travail, vous êtes toujours régi par euh, ancien décret qui reste en vigueur pour les accidents de travail. 
Donc même maintenant, nous avons la situation vraiment qui est constitutionnel, constitutionnellement très problématique parce que vous avez le même dommage corporel, mais dépendant des circon circon circonstances, vous octroyez une différente somme. C'est le problème crucial de la République tchèque concernant le ce sujet, mais Sarah va en parler euh, plus en détail. La, le deuxième problème que nous trouvons aussi intéressant, c'est euh, le dommage corporel causé aux enfants mineurs, car on a introduit aussi une nouvelle législation là-dessus. Donc, euh, euh, quels sont les problèmes avec notre système lorsque le dommage corporel euh, se produit euh, euh, chez les mineurs et puis, le troisième problème, c'est la compensation, compensation, indemnisation des dommages psychologiques, des dommages mentaux, qui va euh, aussi clarifier euh, Sarah, parce que ça fait partie de sa recherche. C'est pour ça qu'elle est ici avec nous. Euh, je, je lui donne la parole avec plaisir, parce qu'elle va, va nous dire ce qu'elle qu a déjà euh, recherché. Donc, euh, je te donne la parole. Thank you very much for the words and uh, thank you very much for the invitation and the opportunity that I can tell you some things today. Um, uh, obviously, we uh, chose uh, those three topics, but we uh, have many more problems than those three. And uh, I have uh, 10 minutes to, to explain, so it's uh, in a nutshell, so please take it uh, with, with reservation, uh, let's say. Uh, as far as the, uh, the minors are concerned, uh, I pose uh, myself four questions. Uh, the first one is how, how to assess non-pecuniary non damage um, of minors. And why, is, why, why am I asking this question? It's because the, the methodology, the, the non -legally, legally non-binding methodology um, of difficulties in social applications. So it's 40, it's like civil, uh, civil life of the injured uh, person, uh, political life, uh, family life, um, every, every uh, aspect of social life of a, of a human being. Um, we, according to the method methodology, we assess uh, um, on a comparison between the condition of the injured person before the accident and after. And uh, the problem uh, in case of minors is uh, how do, especially uh, in case of newborns and preschool children, very, very little children, is how do we assess before when there is no before? Because uh, the, the, chil the, the child, uh, um, the, the newborn, doesn't know anything, <laughs> basically. So that's one of the, one of the crucial uh, crucial problems uh, with with uh, with children. Um, basically, uh, most cases uh, because I have uh, some uh, practice also, and uh, basically uh, most cases are uh, settled uh, out of court uh, uh, exactly from uh, from, from uh, for, for this reason because uh, at the end um, the parties uh, maybe it's an accident, a car ex accident, or um, uh, um, uh, in hospital, uh, something uh, they uh, the, then the um, the infringer and the injured party settle because uh, it's not quite uh, we don't have the rule we, we don't have any methodological clues uh, of how to how to assess how to quantify um, accordingly uh, the damage and then uh, also when 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 is the right time to assess the uh, the the damage the non pecuniary damage on health uh, of the minor uh, because uh, according to the uh, judicial practice of the supreme court of the czech republic we can assess the uh, difficulties in social application of the injured party injured party uh, after the the health condition has stabilized uh, and one year after, uh, it's, it's usually one year after the, the, the accident, the, the, the damage event. Uh, but in case of minors, they, um, you know, the children, uh, their, their health um, condition uh, changes very, very quickly. Basically, uh, it's, uh, it can be months, it can, it, it can be years. And uh, some, of, uh, some of the aspects, so we, we cannot say the medical experts that, uh, that use this primarily, the, the methodology to, 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 to provide the court with the uh, expert opinion. Um, sometimes, and 
quite often uh, in the cases of, of newborns cannot say, I don't know if the, ch if the child may, may be, uh, the, the, the little girl will be able to, to read, maybe, maybe not, we don't know yet, but, but the court proceeding is, is on. We have, to, we have to do something, we have to, we have to know because we have to finish it <laughs> at some point. So um, uh, that's, that's also, um, uh, that's also um, uh, quite a problem because uh, the methodology is, is uh, ready to be used in case of adults. Basically, so now we are talking about we are discussing among uh, among um, experts if uh, it's the right time to maybe create new methodology mm -hmm. adapted uh, to the development of of a child's uh, um, evolution, the evolution mm -hmm. of of a child, basically. Then, uh, by whom it should be assessed because. Uh, According to the methodology, um, the expert opinions uh, are done by, uh, by doctors that are entitled, are allowed uh, by Ministry of Justice to, to, to provide these uh, expert opinions. But it, it has to be a doctor, but of any specialization. So that means uh, it can be an obstetrician. It can be uh, it can be I don't know um, psychi 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 psychiatric, mm -hmm. gastroenterologist. It can be whatever. But on the on the other hand, uh, there is no obligatory pediatrician consultation mm -hmm. or anything like that. So um, and also uh, difficulties in social application from uh, from uh, multiple points of view. It's not a really question of uh, a medical question because it's it's a social application. So it means we have to uh, we have to prove and we have to uh, we have to know uh, how the, the injured person is really uh, is really limited in in their in their private social life. Not less, it, it's not a question really medical. Uh, so uh, we are now uh, discussing the, the question if it's uh, if, if 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 maybe uh, it's better to um, to uh, to have an obligatory mandatory uh, consultation with with pediatricians or maybe social workers. And uh, last but not least, uh, question is uh, the form of compensation in minors because we, uh, according to the to uh, the, the judicial practice, in a lump uh, we we compensate it in a lump sum, so in one time payment at the end of the proceeding. So, uh, but in cases of, of the children, if the, if the condition is is changing, it, it's something different. Uh, if the the child is two years old and then six years old and then fifteen years. Old, uh, and the, the, the state is, is developing somehow. So uh, we are currently discussing uh, some multiple partial payments according to what are we really able to prove with, uh, in, in, in the court. So uh, the actual, uh, basically, uh, it would be depending on the actual proven state of the, uh, the, the health state and the social state of the injured child. So uh sometimes uh, the uh, insurers uh pay something uh in advance but it's only their goodwill it's not obligatory it's just it's just it's just their um uh their uh, their step that they want to uh to um to show that that they are like they know something happened and they, they want to compensate, but we don't know uh, how much yet. So they do this. And, but often uh, that's quite funny because the court uh, often doesn't know about these payments. So then they uh, they want to, to you know they, they want to pay double because mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't have the information uh, that some payment uh, has already been uh, been done. So uh, so that's this that's the minors. Uh, then, uh, as far as uh, the mental damage is concerned, I'm really uh, glad for the topic that our pre um, rector <laughs> uh, Lori uh, 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 talks about. Um, uh, the Czech approach uh, is rather rest restrictive yeah. because we uh, we are uh, intensively uh, compensating uh, rather physical damage. Yeah. 
And if it's uh, the temporary inconveniences associated with physical damage, such as um, negative thoughts in the hospital, um, uh, you know, uh, not seeing the family, it's 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 uh, uh, the smell in the hospital, and these things, mm -hmm. we don't we don't uh, we, we we don't really compensate at all. Uh, maybe if it's uh, of an inten intensity, uh, quite, uh, we can do an increase uh, of the uh, basic uh, compensation for pain. Um, can be up to 20, 30 percent maximum. But uh, in cases of non temporary mental or psychiatric disorders diagnosed, um, until uh, 2019, we didn't have the item. Uh, and in the methodology. So, uh, so the experts that were providing the, med the medical opinion, they use uh, per analogiam uh, the items for physical pain in, uh, of head, like in a head. Uh, but the Supreme Court of, of the Czech that was inadmissible because uh, the, the, uh, uh, the parties uh, said, usually said, well, that's, that's not possible. It's not the same thing. It's, it's completely different. Uh, and at the end, uh, five years ago, the Supreme Court of the Czech Republic uh, suggested came in, in uh, one of its decisions with the new item, uh, serious mental disorder resulting from trauma confirmed by a, psych confirmed by a psychiatric institution um, that is currently being discussed uh, as um, more or less neg negatively because it's rather vague and also the, the necessity of confirmation of a psychiatric institution uh, it's not practical it's not practically uh, it's not practical it's not pra uh, for most uh, for most people it's not uh, it's not accessible uh, and also it's uh, it's it's uh, um, how, how do we call it run on a run on a on a, a long path you know uh, so so uh, that's not uh, that, that was a good step but but really not uh, not 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 as good as it could be <laughs> let's say so currently um uh currently uh, there is not exclusive the, uh, the compensation through the third category that's other non-pecuniary damages uh but that's not pain nor pain uh neither uh, neither pain nor uh difficulty in social application so we cannot use the methodology and therefore we don't have any clue of how to compensate so uh, if there is something uh something like um uh diagnosed ptsd it can be thirty thousand crowns it can be eighty hundred uh, eighty thousand crowns it can be whatever the the court says according to the principle of decency so um that's that's uh, that's also a problem and uh problem is also if there is uh if there is uh mental suffering and not physical suffering uh these are the cases of uh, for example sexual violence uh, or attempted murders uh if uh the the injured um can be a woman, but it can be also a man and a child. Uh, it, it is not se sexually abused at the end, but suffers from some negative, negative uh, consequences, mental consequences. Uh, again, uh, it's not pain. Uh, it's not difficulty in social application. So it's something we. Uh, it is not interference with the right or, or for health. It's it's uh, interference with right for. Uh, private uh, for private and, and uh, family life is something different or dignity it's something different and in this case we cannot apply the uh, the provision uh, of uh, interference uh, with rights to health and therefore we have again we have uh, we haven't got any clue of uh, how to uh, how to assess how to quantify and how to approach uh, these cases and uh, the last thing and sorry for uh, the delay <laughs> Uh, the last thing uh, is the dichotomy of con con compensation for non-pecuniary uh, damage in civil law and in labor law, because we have labor code that is uh, lex specialis to civil code. So that means if we apply uh, labor code, we cannot apply basically the civil code. It's, it's, uh, it stands, uh, it's, it's special. So um, we strictly, uh, diff uh, we have to differ between uh, the events of, of, uh, of normal accidents, let's say, and uh, the, the events of work accidents, uh, accidents and occupational diseases. 
and uh, the, 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 the biggest uh, problem uh, is that uh, the labor law stands on the previous on, on, on uh, decree uh, of point assessment that we left 10 years ago in civil law, yeah. but in labor code, we still have it. So we assess uh, uh, completely differently uh, uh, a work accident and a normal accident, even if uh, in um, um, substantially it's, it's the same. It's, it's the same. It's, it's no difference if you fall from steps at your home or at, uh, in, uh, in uh, metro. Uh, subway or uh, in your, um, you know, uh, working place. working place. So, uh, so uh, we cannot use the the methodology, and also there are differences uh, according to the labor code. We um, are not able to uh, compensate other non-pecuniary damages. So uh, that's this other that's that's other difference. And uh, also, uh, the labor code has its own uh, provisions uh, regarding uh, the the, uh, the the secondary uh, damage of uh, of um, parents or other close persons to the injured employee, uh, but doesn't provide us any any anything uh, regarding limitations or uh, or how how it how it should be assessed. So we have it there. So we have to use it. Uh, according to the, the labor uh, labor code, but we don't have any clue how, how we are uh, supposed to uh, to do that. So, and even uh, constitutional court of the Czech Republic stated it's it's, it's quite recently that this uh, that two track double track system it's non desirable and it's not sustainable and uh, and it's uh, at the end it's constitutionally non conforming. But still, we we have it and somehow it works. But uh, we have to live with this <laughs> unpleasant uh, stay. And last slide uh, regards uh, um, sorry um, possible solutions. Uh, uh, three years ago, the continuous conference on compensation for injuries to health and life was established. Uh, it's organized by uh, Faculty of Law, Charles University. And uh, it's with the partic participation of the of, of uh, basically the persons that uh, were uh, creating the methodology itself ten years ago, and, and many others. And uh, it's a platform to, um, uh, to 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 discuss it in uh, in 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 uh, planning, let's say in in. Um, uh, um, through through uh, through the uh, or thanks to um, people from insurance uh, advocates uh, um, doctors and judges and uh, maybe uh, that's the, that's the starting point where we can start but we are still at the beginning and uh, hoping for uh, for the better so that's basically that's basically it and thank you for your attention.